Because, you know, it's actually painful to be outside. The wind paired with the cold weather this morning, and it is very windy in Fontana, even by IE standards. Now, take a look behind me here. You can see those palm trees really swaying back and forth this morning. And anyone traveling in this area, I do want to point out we are on citrus just off the two. Are very strong and you will feel your car swaying. The wind this week is already causing all sorts of problems. Take a look at this. Earlier this morning, San Bernardino County Fire responded to a house fire. It wasn't very big, but because of the wind, it was a pretty close call for firefighters. This happened shortly after midnight. A single family home on Orchard Street in Fontana. This fire actually sparked several other smaller fires. Apparently, the Wind gusts blew embers onto some nearby palm trees a couple blocks away. Thankfully, firefighters were able to get this contained and no one was hurt. Also, take a look at this. The wind overnight. The National Weather Service says it will likely be this windy all weekend, but the strongest wind happening today until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Overnight here in Fontana, it was especially windy, as you can see in this video. It was taken in the area of Cherry and the 10 Freeway. Throughout the day, we can expect to feel gusts up to 60 miles per hour in the mountain areas and also up to 45 miles per hour everywhere else. Winds this strong can, of course, blow down trees and power lines. As far as travel goes for a high profile vehicle, especially careful on Highway 30 in Ventura County, as well as Interstate 5 and Highway 4. In LA County. Now, back out here live, another major thing to point out this is not the time to start any sort of fire outside because, as you saw in that first video we showed you, it is possible for these embers to fly around given that the fact that the wind is so strong. I'm Lena Bovin reporting live in Fontana this morning. We'll send it back to you in the studio.